welcome, it's Betsy. I want to share with you a practice that's really wonderful to detach from all the things that we get attached to, whether it's our ego wanting to attach to our identity, um, whether it's getting stuck in our thought patterns and fear, all those um, attachments that we make, we start to um, sort of make our own. And uh, this is just a way to soften that and release those attachments and um, help find a really much more connected place where we're more connected to our truth of who we are. So this is a great time for this and it's actually a great practice that can be done every day. Um, these Kundalini practices are really potent when we practice them every day, in fact, um, it's often advised to practice them within these set time periods. 40 days is an amazing goal. And um, if you think these practices are pretty powerful on their own, I really encourage you to experiment with doing a daily practice for 40 days. And it just takes on this whole new exponential um, effect. So um, the way we start is by tuning in to the divine teacher. So we'll be doing a chant Ong. Namo Guru Dev Namo and we'll say that three times as a way to bow to the the real guru within us the divine teacher and the teachers that have gone before us so let's go ahead and bring the hands together at the heart you can even make a little heat with the hands and start to bring your attention inward it's like we're turning down that outer channel and Starting to move into the inner channel. Bringing the spine tall. And we'll begin our call in, taking a deep breath in. Om Namo Guru De Namo. to open, we're going to take a <clears throat> very specific mudra. So we're taking our thumbs and placing them right next to each other. And then the fingers are going to move into just loose fists. And we'll place that right in front of the heart. The uh, knuckles are touching. And we'll do this breath that has really four parts to it. So we'll be inhaling for a particular count. And why don't we start today at four counts. So inhaling for four, and then pausing for four, exhaling in four sniffs out for four, and hold at the bottom of the exhale for four. So that's what we're going for, and we'll go for about seven minutes here. Um, if you do, uh, actually, if you are pregnant or you think you might be pregnant, please don't pause the breath. Um, and if this makes you lightheaded or dizzy, please don't pause the breath. And you can use a long, deep breath instead, or you can work to just find that even inhale and even exhale. So let's go ahead. We're going to bring the eyes uh, nearly closed, so they're just one-tenth open. And let's begin inhaling for four. Pause four. Exhale four. And pause four. Inhale four. Pause four. Exhale, four sniffs. And pause, four. Inhale, four. Pause, four. Exhale. 
exhale hoarseness. And pause for. And you continue that rhythm. If you feel like you've got a little bit more space in your breath, you can increase the, the pause and increase that number four to as much as eight. So making it work for you. Sitting with a nice tall spine, looking up through the crown.
Let's take a big inhale and stretch the arms up. And it's like you're just bringing your fingertips down, clapping your fingers into your palms. And exhale, release the hands down, bring them palms facing up if that's comfortable. Close your eyes here. Dropping into your center. Feel that stillness that you're creating. to the witness, just simply observing. What does it feel like to be in the body? Simply be an observer of the thoughts. Just noticing them coming and going without attaching, just witnessing. into the peace that lives within you. Peace, that truth that underlies all the fluctuations of the mind, all of our attachments, seeing what's underneath and observing that. the eyes closed, you can bring the hands together at the heart. Lead me from unseeing to seeing. Lead me from untruth to truth. And lead me from darkness to light. Lead me to my own understanding of my greater expanded and immortal self. We'll end our practice with the sound sat nam, sat meaning truth, nam meaning truth.